Hey guys, it's Trygamers 90s here and welcome to the second episode of the Messi vs Ronaldo career mode. And today we are in this transfer deadline day and not much is going to be happening because we have you know bought our two key players. Messi as you can see we bought for 121 million and Ronaldo for like 94 million and we also had to sell Eden Hazard just to afford those two players to Bayern Munich for 56 million. And in this episode, guys, there's a lot, uh, lot going to be happening. We're going to come up against uh, really good opponents. We're going to have some really tough games and really competitive games. We're going to be playing. Our first game is going to be Everton. We are going to be playing our. Uh, we are going to be playing our rivals, Arsenal, and we are going to be heading on to our first uh, Champions League games. And there's a lot of uh, things happening in this episode, guys. Moving on to some of the transfers, uh, transfer offers that we get for Cesc Fabregas and Loic Remy as we are going to be straight up rejecting them because they are key players and we don't really have many strikers so we need uh, Loic Remy in our team but we are going to be uh, you know sending some of these players on loan, some of these young players like Casey Palmer uh, to Borussia Dortmund and uh, we are going to be moving on to the first game of this episode guys against uh, Everton and we are rolling out with this 4-3-3 setup. We are testing out Messi and Ronaldo in the wings. And that's very unlike of Chelsea, how they play, because they don't really play that attacking. They play more counter-attacking. And this is going to be a challenge uh, and see how, how it's going to work out for Chelsea. So yeah, guys, we start the game off and nothing much happen, happened until the 30th minute. And Messi now takes a, a throw in and he passes it to Ivanovic. And Ivanovic uh, passes it to Mikel. Mikel finds Oscar and Oscar finds Ronaldo in an empty spot. And Ronaldo puts in the back of the net. What a, uh, what a really powerful shot there from Ronaldo. He finds the back of the net. Uh, great positioning there from Ronaldo. And he makes a celebration there. And yeah, guys, as you can see, a replay from uh, distance and Ronaldo bangs it in, hammers it in the near post of the keeper and keeper had no chance there. Great, great uh, shot from Ronaldo and takes Chelsea to 1-0 uh, lead in the 33rd minute. So yeah, guys, it's now the 40th minute and Mikel passes it to the left back Baba and he passes it back to Mikel. Mikel makes a defensive error there. He fouls the player. It was a soft foul, didn't get carded, but Delefiu passes it to Lukaku and Lukaku now is on the counter and he swings across into Ross Barkley and he makes the equalizer in the 42nd minute with his head. Uh, a nice header from Barkley there and I was feeling so pissed because we took the lead and we just gave away the lead in a matter of not even less than 10 in-game minutes. We are now in the 81st minute guys and now I make a substitution and bring Remy in instead of uh, Falcao who, who hasn't done much uh, in this uh, game throughout. And so yeah guys, uh, now it's the 88th minute and Courtois has the ball and he passes it uh, to one of our players and guys throughout this game we felt like we we played uh, better than uh, Everton. They scored a, a really lucky goal. We should have defended that header. But uh, Ronaldo wins the ball here. He passes it to Mikel. Now Mikel is on a run. And Mikel finds Oscar. And Oscar, what a play. What a, what a goal from Oscar. He scores the goal in the 90th minute. That is just an amazing goal from Oscar and that's why all you need to have Oscar in the team guys. That's why we didn't sell him and that was a really good decision from us. As you can see the replay there and Oscar wins the game for us finally. And yeah guys, we take uh, we, win, we win this game cheekily 2-1 victory. And yeah guys, that's how the game ends. Guys, we move on to the second game of this episode and we are playing against uh, Dynamo Moscow in our first ever Champions League Cup tie and we should be putting this game in, our, in the bag because we are playing this at home and we have players like Messi and Ronaldo, Falcao and so many great players playing in our club and we should be able to outmatch this team but will it happen this way? Uh, so we will soon find it out and now it's the 29th minute guys we, we hadn't been doing much in this game and we have been struggling pretty much and Dynamo Moscow what a goal from uh, their player and finds the back of the net uh, we had so much empty spaces there and yeah guys I've noticed that our defense is, is very weak we are actually struggling defending goals we are conceding a lot of goals 
Now guys, uh, Dynamo Moscow uh, puts in a cross and goes directly to Courtois and Courtois now finds Messi, Messi to Willian, Willian passes it to Falcao and Messi is on a free space, makes a great run, Ronaldo is on a run as well, he skills inside the box, passes it to Messi, Messi finds Fabregas and what a volley from Fabregas. That is a first time volley and what a, what a finish, what a goal from Fabregas. That's uh, uh, an amazing uh, goal from him and that was a great team play as well look at that a nice kill move from uh, Ronaldo and mm, pass it to Messi Messi beautifully finds mm, Fabregas and Fabregas a first time touch first time volley and what a goal and deserves all the three, three replays for that goal and we go up 1-1 we equalize the game and now they have the ball uh, Dynamo Moscow making a good passing and move and our defense is so open guys what are, what is our defense doing and that's a, a great passing and move a great finish from them we couldn't do much about that goal because our defense is so open so we definitely need to be looking for center backs in the next january transfer window and that's why we have been uh, we have been like trying to find out where our weak point is in the team and so now uh, john terry has the ball he passes it to ramirez Ramirez now passes it to Falcao and Willian now has the ball. Willian passes it back to Falcao and finds Messi open space. And what a goal from Messi there. He steps up in the most important moment of the game. He scores the goal in the 86th minute, guys. And what a goal that was. That was, was it outside the box? But that was a great, great, uh, great little shot. A uh, great finesse shot from him. And yeah, guys, that was just inside the box. And that was a great finish. And I was starting to wonder where is Messi. Messi hasn't stepped up yet, but he steps up pretty much in the 90th minute and seals the game. He saves us from the embarrassment and picks up the man of the match in this game. And now Messi and Ronaldo, they are both on level terms now. And finally, we move on to the final game of the episode, guys, against Arsenal. And this is going to be a very, very interesting and important game for us because it's Arsenal and we have to beat them. And so yeah guys, as you can see, we are we have moved to the first position in the table, although it's very early on. It's just we have played five games in the league. But having players like Ronaldo and Messi, we should always be you know in that position in the table, no matter what opponent opponents we come up against. So yeah guys, it's now the eighth minute early on in the game. Ronaldo has the ball. Ronaldo cuts inside, gets in, tries to get in the wing, but gets deflected for a corner. And we are now going to give it to Messi because he scored us a, a header from Nemanja Matic. He assisted Matic in, in the first episode. We're going to swing in across and, and a header. Oh my God, that was so close to going in. And yeah, that was that goes for another a second corner. And Messi now has the ball again. He swings in another cross and goes directly to better check. And nothing comes out of it. It's now the uh, 21st minute guys and John Obi Mikel has the ball, passes it to Remy, Remy passes it to Seth Fabregas, Fabregas moving up the pitch, he is moving forward, muscling defenders and he passes it now, finds Messi and Messi puts in a banger of a shot, he finds the back of the net, he scores against Peter Cech and that was a great goal from Messi there, always in the right position, in the right time, although he's playing uh, centrally now. But he, he really did really well there in finding back of the net. And yeah guys, let's have a look at the replay again as the net bulging. And that was a great shot from Messi there. Unstoppable Messi. It's now uh, just 10 minutes past the clock. And Olivier Giroud had the ball and clearance from Aspli Quetta there. And now Theo Walcott has the ball and passes it to Giroud again. Giroud finds Cazola. Cazola takes an amazing shot from outside the box and what a goal from Cazola there and we are back level 1-1 again. It's now the second half guys and now we are in the 52nd minute and Olivier Giroud takes a shot there and gets deflected past one of the Chelsea defenders and now Arsenal has a corner and they cross it directly to Aspilicueta and he heads it to Ronaldo. Now Ronaldo passes it back to Oscar. Oscar now finds Remy, Remy to Ronaldo. Ronaldo is on a great counter-attacking run. He is unstoppable when he's on full sprint and he sweats it to like Remy and we had to do that. That was a great counter-attacking play, a classic counter-attacking play from Chelsea there. Ronaldo on a fantastic little run and passed it to Remy. First time finish 
and Perocek had no chance to stop that. That was a great finish. So yeah guys, that's how the final game of the episode ends. We win this game against Arsenal at our home in Stamford Bridge and Messi versus Ronaldo. Messi seems to be doing pretty well. He's outshining Ronaldo at the moment with a couple of goals that he scored in this episode. And But Ronaldo also did come up big in this game with that nice little counter-attacking run and assist to Remy there. And Remy uh, has been playing better than Falcao. And so yeah guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and share the video. And until then, we will see you guys next time.